Melania just stunned everyone with what she did on sudden run-in with Kathy Griffin, over the past few days, the media has been ablaze over the controversy surrounding the president and Kathy Griffin who did a tasteless advertisement where she was depicted as holding the president's severed head with blood dripping down from it. Several members of the Trump family have responded to the incident. Some of those people include Laura Trump, the president himself, and Donald Trump Jr. Despite her private profile, the First Lady Melania Trump made a blistering statement against the has-been comedian who took her jokes one step too far. The UK Daily Mail reported she said the following, When you consider some of the atrocities happening in the world today, a photo opportunity like this is simply wrong and makes you wonder about the mental health of the person who did it. Rumors indicate that Baron Trump, the couple's 11-year-old son, was watching television when the image popped up on his screen. He reportedly didn't understand it was a joke or fake and he went screaming to his mother. However, Kathy Griffin and her attorney have questioned the veracity of this statement. While the First Lady has chosen to remain quiet and shies away from public appearances she has proven herself to be someone who utilizes her public profile when it is appropriate. She may not speak all the time but when she speaks people listen. Clearly, when someone comes after her family it is important enough for her to comment on it and she did it in the most graceful and classy way. When the photograph of the mock severed head was initially released the president responded by releasing the following tweet, Donald J. Trump. Kathy Griffin should be ashamed of herself. My children, especially my 11-year-old son, Baron, are having a hard time with this. Sick. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer said the following at a White House press briefing, the president, the first lady, and the Secret Service have all made it very clear their view on those thoughts. One would think that after the backlash she got that Kathy Griffin would take responsibility for what she did and admit her wrongdoing but she did the exact opposite at one of her press conferences. She hired a shark of an attorney to simply blame the person that she harassed and targeted. The LA Times reported on her morning press conference, that apology absolutely stands. I apologized because it was the right thing to do and I meant it. Then I saw the tide turning. I saw what was happening. It was a mob mentality pile on. What's happening to me has never happened in this great country. A sitting president of the US is personally trying to ruin my life forever. I'm not afraid of Donald Trump. He's a bully. I've dealt with older white guys trying to keep me down my whole life, my whole career. I don't know if I'm going to be arrested today. I don't know. What's happening to me has never happened in this great country, Griffin said. A sitting president of the U.S. is personally trying to ruin my life forever. The photo itself, featuring the president's ketchup bloodied likeness, Griffin explained, was inspired by Trump's comments about Meghan Kelly during the presidential campaign. You could see there was blood coming out of her eyes, blood coming out of her wherever, Trump said back then. Griffin said she was well aware of sexism having worked her entire life in a male-dominated industry. I'm not afraid of Donald Trump, she said. He's a bully. I've dealt with older white guys trying to keep me down my whole life, my whole career. But Griffin knew immediately after the photo had gone live that she had made a grave miscalculation. I don't know if I'm going to be arrested today. I don't know, Griffin said, referring to the Secret Service's investigation of the photo. Her attorney Lisa Bloom shifted blame to the president for what she labeled his inappropriate behavior saying, unlike these male artists, Kathy has apologized. Unlike these male artists, Kathy has endured the most powerful man in America, and his family, using their power to target her and her employers after she apologized. Nobody can deny that the president's jokes about sexual assault and his disgusting references towards women are inexcusable. But that is irrelevant to this issue. It has nothing to do with Kathy Griffin and her so-called joke that fell flat. She is like a child who blames others for her wrongdoing. Her actions have led to her losing venues in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York as well as the Community Arts Theater in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Even the notoriously liberal CNN have let her go from her New Year's Eve duties. All have cited her recent actions as the reason for her firing. Good for them and their speedy response. Her antics have received bipartisan backlash because this should not be a partisan and political issue.
there is a difference between right and wrong and this so-called joke completely obliterates that line between right and wrong. Everyone understands that and any attempt to try and excuse it is nothing more or less than pathetic. She should be ashamed of herself and so should all the liberals that defend her. Please do not forget like on videos and subscribe and comment because your voice matters and visit our page on Facebook and like them and follow up. And thanks for watching.